Like the video and subscribe to our channel right now and get one week of amazing luck. Currently, space research and exploration are major concerns for many nations. Also, space will soon be a popular travel destination as space tourism is already taking off. The reality is that even while we have begun to explore the expanse of the galaxy, we still do not fully understand our planet. We compiled a list of 10 unexplored places where no human has set foot. Number 10. Northern Forest Complex Myanmar The Northern Forests Complex is one of the largest remaining contiguous forests in Southeast Asia and stretches across lowland forests and wetlands, coniferous forests, and snow-covered mountains above the treeline in northern Myanmar. The primary forest covers an area of more than 14,000 km square and the lowland woods are particularly beautiful because they allow views of the majestic, snow-covered mountain peaks to be seen through the tree canopy. Consider for a moment that there are 14,000 kilometers of wilderness that have yet to be discovered. There is a sizable woodland region to explore in Myanmar's northern forest complex. The area has the largest diversity of plant and animal life, as well as some of the world's most pristine natural settings. The country's northern forest complex, a 12,000-square-mile tract that runs along the border from India to China and Burma's Kachin state, is home to tigers, bears, elephants, and hundreds of bird species. The heart of that forest, at nearly 8,500 square miles, is Burma's Hukong Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, the largest tiger reserve in the world. Number 9. Hang Sun Dong Cave, Vietnam. Vietnam is probably well known to tourists, but it still manages to keep some of its best kept secrets a secret. The Nha Cong National Park in the Vietnamese province of Quang Binh is home to the Hang Son Dong Cave, which is the biggest cave in the world. It can be up to 150 meters wide in some places and can continue for up to 9 kilometers. There are openings where the cave's ceiling has collapsed, allowing light to penetrate the space. Thus, a rainforest has grown there, housing creatures like monkeys, hornbills, and flying foxes. A river also runs along the length of the cave. The cave even has its own microclimate, and due to the large temperature difference within compared to outside, inside the cave genuine clouds do form. Despite this, there are still areas of the cave that have never been entered by a person, making it hard to predict the types of species that might exist there or their chances of survival. Number 8. The Stone Forest in Madagascar The African island nation is home to a slew of endemic species and breathtaking natural landscapes to match. All that considered, it shouldn't be too shocking to hear that the country boasts the world's largest stone forest. It also has a tiny, bright red one. We are certain that this is not Mars. The stone forests contain incredible cliffs with tops that are as sharp as knife blades, rising to a height of about 70 meters. A portion of the stone woodlands can be found on the grounds of Singi de Bemaraha National Park. The rocks are so tightly packed that not even a single seed can pass through, hence there are no green plants to be found here. White lemurs and other wild birds, on the other hand, flourish in this environment. The larger area to the north of the stone forests has never been visited by a single person. The area has only lately become reachable, but due to the dangerous terrain, expeditions cannot be sent there just yet. Unidentified species of both plants and animals are believed to be present in large numbers in the area. Number 7. Gangkar Puensum Gangkar Puensum is the highest mountain in Bhutan and the highest unclimbed mountain in the world with an elevation of 7,570 meters and a prominence of 2,995 meters. The tallest peak on Earth that hasn't been scaled is Gangkar Puensum. It may be found in the disputed area between Bhutan and China and rises to a height of 7,570 meters. When mountaineering was first declared permitted in Bhutan in 1983, the mountain was first documented in 1922. Climbers promptly went out to conquer the mountains after the government made climbing on mountains taller than 6,000 meters illegal once more in the nation in 1994 and completely outlawed it in the country in 2003. 
This indicates that no one has ever reached the mountain's summit. Number 6. Northern Patagonia, Chile. The smaller of the two remaining pieces of the Patagonian ice sheet in the Andes Mountains of southern South America is known as the Northern Patagonian Ice Field, and it is situated in southern Chile. It is entirely encompassed inside Laguna San Rafael National Park's limits. New alien species of flora and fauna have developed in these territories because they are virtually cut off from other South American countries, but barely a third of northern Patagonia is covered by national parks and other international protection zones. This obvious fact is definable. The northern Patagonian ice sheet remains one of the largest ice masses in the globe even once the polar portions are excluded. There are extensive wilderness areas that have rarely, if ever, been visited outside the national park boundaries. Number 5. Valle del Javari, Brazil. Over the past few decades, fewer and fewer people in the world have been able to avoid interaction with modern technology and society. There are still 14 different indigenous people tribes living in the Valle del Javari, nonetheless. Despite the fact that there are more than 3,000 indigenous people living in the area, who are divided into 14 different tribes, this population is getting rarer. To preserve the native population and the customs they uphold, the Brazilian government has declared it unlawful for people to enter the area. This area is the ideal spot for people who prefer to avoid interaction with modern society and remain mostly untouched by the rest of the world because its total geographical area of 32,990 square miles is more than that of the entire country of Austria. Number 4. New Hebrides Fault Pacific Ocean Geologists in the Pacific Ocean found the New Hebrides Fault in 2013. Amazingly, one can still refer to this area as, unknown territory. Scientists from New Zealand and the United Kingdom have been doing studies for more than 10 years, but they have never made an excursion into the problem. Instead, they have only sent out robots that have helped them find previously undiscovered species of deep-sea dwellers. There is still not a single photo that was taken at the new hybrid fault, which is located a few kilometers off the coast of Australia's east coast. But, due to the peculiar species of ocean creatures living at a depth that is unreachable to even technology, let alone to humans, it is not yet able to explore the animal world in its fullness. Number 3. Mariana Trench, Pacific. The ocean is the least explored region on the planet, so it makes sense that many areas have been unexplored by people. The Mariana Trench, a slender seafloor fissure in the western Pacific, is one of those locations. The trench was developed millions of years ago and is the deepest area of the planet that is currently known. The Mariana Trench's southernmost point, the Challenger Deep, is thought to be the ocean's deepest point. It has more than 20 underwater volcanoes, vents that are spewing sulfuric acid, and marine life that has evolved to withstand pressures 10,000 times greater than those at sea level. James Cameron is a film director, adventurer, and ocean devotee. During his 2010 adventure, he descended to 35,756 feet, but he could have gone a little further. According to a high-resolution map released in 2014, the depth is 36,037 feet. This indicates that the deepest point has yet to be discovered. The Mariana Trench is under U.S. control, and G.W. Bush established a protected marine reserve there in 2009. Before we move on I have a challenge for you that will take 5 seconds to complete. Like this video and hit the subscribe button, press the notification bell and get 6 months so amazing luck. Try, it really works. Number 2. Machu Pucher Mountain. Hinduism worships Machu Pucher as a sacred mountain. Lord Shiva, a revered Hindu deity, is claimed to reside here. The peak's shape when viewed from a particular angle gives the mountain its nickname, Fishtail Mountain. It served as a target for the western mountaineers who attempted to conquer it as it was among the remaining uncharted areas on Earth. Wilfred Noyce came the closest to the peak in 1957 but the monarch of Nepal urged him not to enter the area out of respect for the locals' religious practices. 
The sole climbing record for the mountain was created when he and his partner turned around 150 feet short of the peak. Considering that climbers have entirely occupied places like Everest, the effects of alpine climbing are now much better recognized. It's possible that the mountain's religious significance helped the ecosystem as well, making Machu Picchu the only pristine high peak in the Himalayas. Number 1. Sarlacc Pit, Canada 2018 saw the discovery of a massive cave in Canada, which was given the moniker Sarlacc Pit in honor of the Star Wars creature that lives in pits. The explorers accomplished a spectacular feat when they found the cave, which was hidden in the earth of a provincial park in British Columbia. During a helicopter flight to Count Caribou in April, the cave was unintentionally discovered for the first time. The fact that the 320-foot-long and nearly 200-foot-broad earth hole previously eluded identification is even more amazing. The reason, according to the man whose business provided funding for the initial survey mission, is that the area was always covered in snow until 20 to 50 years ago. Caver Lee Hollis made the first and only descent into the cave that is now known about, going down 260 feet before the cave's waterfall flooded the area and rendered further research impossible. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.